I came here to get kids excited about science by showing them all the ways that science is used to make movie stunts and special effects. Because we know kids don't necessarily remember everything they see in the classroom, but we know they remember everything that happens in a movie theater, and that's because it's exciting. So I, my challenge is to try and take the content kids need to know and make it as exciting as going to a movie. And that's what happens in the Science of the Movies show. Science really is the blueprint to how the universe works. And once you learn that language, you can make the world the way you need it to be. And there's lots of challenges that we have to solve. We have to solve energy, we have to solve medical, we have many, many challenges ahead of us, and really many challenges that we can't even foresee yet. So we want to make sure that the kids today have the tools that they need to modify their environment the way they're going to have to for, for comfort and for health. What do you, what do you think, what makes, what makes science, or how can science uh, be made to be more fun and enjoyable to, to kids? I mean, because it's, certainly we, we see environments where sometimes kids equate that with being a lot of work. They, they don't always see the fun right away, but they, you, know, they, right. you know, that kind of value to it. How do you, how do you bring that to a kid's life so they can kind of see it, so it holds their attention and they, and they want to nurture it themselves? Yeah. Well, when you're designing lessons, you have to start not with what your objective to teach is, but start from figuring out what the kids are interested in. If you know they like Spider-Man, if you know they like the Ninja Turtles, then figure out how those things that naturally have excitement for the kids use the science that you want to teach and bring it in that way. Because kids have so many things competing for their attention now with video games and very, very high stimulation entertainment, it's really hard for a teacher in the classroom to compete with that unless they go after the same things that fascinate the kids. Have you ever been part or kind of witnessed the DI experience in your first time? Have you been here before? I went with my son to a regional DI in Austin, Texas two years ago and really enjoyed the process. It was pretty fascinating and it's, it was so encouraging to see so many kids excited about science and excited about you know, project-based learning and figuring out how this is going to solve a problem. And it really made me hopeful that maybe, maybe we could climb back from being not even in the top 20 worldwide to regain the prominence that we had when I saw a man land on the moon when I spotted. What's wonderful about DI is that it treats these kids who are going to be the inventors of tomorrow, who in many cases are actually the inventors of today, like the celebrities that they deserve to be. Because our life is not shaped by NFL and NBA, except for a few hours on the weekend. But on a daily basis, our, our lives are shaped by the quality of our vaccinations, the quality of the safety of our automobiles, by transportation, by computers, and these are the things that these kids are working on. This is the important stuff. How do you think, through science, you know, the kids of today, the kids of tomorrow are going to be able to you know, change lives? How are their lives being changed by science now, and how do you think their, their embracement of science and that is going to help them change the future? We've used science in a lot of ways that have benefited us, but not really been great for the planet. And I'm hoping that the kids that are here today are going to figure out how to meet their needs while improving the conditions here on, the, on, our, on our starship.